Hello all, this is the dude back with a little tutorial on how to fix some of the screen artifacting on the pebble. <clears throat> You'll need a small flathead screwdriver, a Torx T5, a pair of scissors, and a sticky note. So, first you want to, of course, just turn it off. There we go. Then you're going to want to take your small flathead and use it to. And you can set those to the side. So, now you have this. <clears throat> so you're going to want to take your Torx and take off the four Torx screws. This little part here should come off. That's a little bit of effort. And there are two clips right there. And on the other side. Now you're going to want to find the plug. And I decided to turn back on. Whoops. Oh, there's that screw. you're going to need to get that and on this side you can see there is the vibrator motor so you're just going to want to carefully pop that off of the casing like so and now you can remove that hopefully all four screws are in there I lost one it's on the magnet so you can set that aside for now and then you've got this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this part apart to show you why this works, but you don't necessarily have to actually take this entire thing out. So you get your little screwdriver. There are circuit boards <clears throat> all around the edges here except for on this side and right here. So I found the best place to get it open is right under that little metal part. And you can just carefully pop it off. And this is the backlight, buttons, battery, and the logic board. There's the vibrator motor. And then this is the LCD. And this 
is what connects the logic board to the LCD via those little bitty things there. So this is basically a little piece of silicon with a whole bunch of little filaments in it. And that's what connects it. So as far as I can tell, that's the weak link here. So that can just be put back in here. And then this side goes here, the side that doesn't have foam. And then just kind of carefully slide it back in there. There you go. So the way I found seems to work is that's getting pushed up against here just by the pressure of the back. So what I did is I got my sticky note and I cut off a small strip and then I folded it to be about the same size as that and I folded it in half a couple of times So, I found that six tends to work best. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're just going to want to take that, carefully move that out of the way, put that there. And then put the vibrator motor back on top of it. So now you've got your little slip of paper in there. Like so. And then you can just put this back on and you can see here goes on there. So gonna go like that. And then you can simply line that back up. There you go. And retighten all four screws. Okay, and then you can turn it back on, and now it no longer has the artifact. And 
then you can put these back on. The one with the latch goes on the top, of course. I find it better to put it on upside down so that you don't accidentally scratch it. That's about it. Hopefully this is helpful. It probably voids your warranty, but if you don't want to get an RMA or if you're out of warranty, then it probably doesn't matter too much. But there you go. And a few more things. First, I did not voice over this video because frankly I didn't feel like it. So if the audio quality is good, let me know. If it's horrible and I should use the mic next time, let me know. I would appreciate it. Also, if you're wondering why I have two, this one was my second one. So this one, the one that I actually worked on, um, I got initially and it started having a bunch of artifacting and eventually got to the point where the screen basically just didn't turn on. Like, I could tell it was working, I could set an alarm or send a notification, it'd go off and it would work but the screen just flat out wouldn't turn on and would just flash every couple minutes. So this one was significantly worse than this, which says just started artifacting. So I used this one just in case I managed to completely break it. I still had one that worked somewhat well. So I got an RMA on this one and got this one. So that's, that's where the two of them came from. Also, I mentioned this will probably void your warranty, but you don't actually break any stickers or really anything else in that aside from dislodging the adhesive on the um, vibrator motor. So it, it's kind of in the gray. It's kind of one of those things that technically you opened it so you avoided your warranty. But I mean, if it doesn't work, as long as you go back in and take the little slip of paper out, probably you could still actually return it or RMA it. So do so at your own risk. I don't know whether they would take it or not. But that's about it, so leave a comment if you have a comment, or if this was helpful, or if you just have a better idea, because this is the best one I could come up with. Uh, like if you liked the video, check out some of my other tech-related videos up there, and subscribe if you like what I do. Thanks for watching.